What is it? What? 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 Why are you calling me? Take it easy, my boy. I'm just worried about you. Can I ever get rid of you, huh? Look, don't call me anymore. Get out of my life, man. Karim, calm down. You are hiding something from us. Now tell us everything. Go away. I have nothing to tell you. You said you'd go, but you didn't do it. Now the girl has run away. We don't want to get caught when we were almost rid of the problem. You can all go to hell, man. Oh, I can't believe this guy. He didn't say? It is not good. Then the situation is not as good as you led me to believe. You said she was living in prosperity, and that Karem was also very happy. Parahan. Maybe she was blackmailing Karim. The girl threatened to go to the police, and he decided not to go abroad. Yeah. It's obvious that he convinced her. Now she's running around like a ticking bomb and deciding where to explode. Oh, I can't find my charger anywhere. Selim's charger's not the same as mine. There must be one in the house. I guess. I'll take a shower. Then check it. So are you in a hurry because of Selim? Ah, it's so interesting that you're so critical of me. Hmm? You sat on Erdogan's shoulders last night. Only to see the stage. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, when you had your faces together, your back was pointed at the stage. So that I could hear him much better, because <laughs> the music was too loud. <laughs> that is exactly what I thought. Karem has gone out of contact, and that's not very good. He's probably planning to put the blame on us if the truth ever happens to be revealed. I think I'll go and talk to him face to face. And take the new chauffeur. It'll be useful. Oh? Will he be trouble for us too? And so what if the girl talks to Mustafa? Then we'll all be destroyed. Erdogan, you should get rid of him now. Not at all. In fact, that's the reason to keep him closer. Then we'll be able to know if she calls. She would have called him by now if she wanted. If she called him, I'm sure that he would be choking you now. Huh? Just ask Munir. He knows all this. I cannot believe this trouble that you created. And we are still trying to get out of it. <sighs> Erdogan, listen to me. Call Mustafa. Here you go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I hope that you earn more, son. Enjoy, Mom. I see that you treat us so well, and you are always spending money on us. Come on, Mother. I love you both. What is that? Is that her picture? Her? It's not. Just let me look. I saw her from a distance before. Let me see your friend more closely. Ah, uh, Halide, don't be so hard on him. Well, why is he ashamed? It's a good thing. And I would be happy to meet her. He doesn't want to talk about it. It's just something new. They're getting to know each other. Father, come on. There's no such girl. Ah, uh, well, you are young. It's normal that you have a girlfriend at your age. She is not what you think. She's only a good friend of mine. <laughs> well, all right. If you want to keep hiding it from uh, us. Yes, Mr. Erdogan? Ah, uh, Mustafa, good morning. Uh, where are you? I'm with my parents. What's wrong? I know that it's early in the morning and it's the day after New Year's, but I really need you to help with something. Is there any way you can come? Of course I can help. Where should I come? Uh, I think to the house of my uncle. It's the house where you dropped me before. I know, sir. I remember. All right, then. How soon before you get here? I'm on the way. He's coming, and he doesn't know anything. But it's a holiday. How can you work? Well, I have to work now. I'll drop you at the hotel as it's closed. I also have to change my clothes. You can go on ahead. The hotel's not far. We can walk. All right. Bye, Mother. I'll see you in the evening. I hope everything goes well. We'll see you this evening and drive carefully. I'll call you later, then. Hmm. Good morning, madam. Good morning. Where is Salim? Working with Mr. Rasak. At this time? Yes, with Madam Perhan, Erdogan, and Mr. Munir. 
Ah, family business? That's right. So, uh, do you happen to know where Slim's old charger is? No, but I can find a charger for you. Oh, that's great. Madame Parahan has one. Ah, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Meltem. Yeah? What are you up to? Salim, I'm just calling to wish you a happy I cannot year. believe you. Where You're spying. You? So yeah, well, his cell phone was off all night. I was just wondering why he did that. <laughs> Oh, you're bad. If you're doing this when you're engaged, what will you do when you're married? I'm having fun, but there's nothing important. It's just Happy celebrating. Happy New Year, Salim. I hope you're having fun. New message. Salim. Salim, call me immediately. Fab Magul's run away. Salim. Salim, call me immediately. Fab Magul's run away. Please, wait up. Yes? Hello there. Hello. I'm the driver of Erdogan. He called me in. Let me inform him. Thank you. Will you ever learn? I told you not to meddle with Karem again, didn't I? He is not Karem who is your childhood friend anymore. After this mess, you should not even look at his face again. Yet you still try to help him, it seems. He does not deserve your help anymore. And I can't believe how you fail in even seeing this fact. The first scolding of the year comes encouraged by last year. Oh, I love it. But I can understand him, Munir. Haven't you helped him enough? Aren't we done with him yet? Huh? Is he going to call us for whatever he needs? And are we getting in trouble for him? And we have to deal with this mess because of him. Yeah, I know that we're wondering just where all this ends. I mean, just how long can this continue? Mr. Erdogan, your chauffeur's arrived. He is outside. Uh, okay, thanks. He can wait. Will you excuse me, please? I'm trying to understand. There's nothing to understand. This is just business, and we're trying to solve it, that's all. But I think we all agree that you should not let Karem use you anymore at all. And you too, Munir. You have helped him whenever you could. You need to tell him that he no longer has his friends, that he must take care of himself on his own. You are right on that. But how could I know that this issue was going to happen? Actually, I I know that Meltem listened to Karem's story herself, but I guess she didn't believe it completely. Ah. Uh. Did you go talk to Karem? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned it. It doesn't matter. Wait, hold on a second. Meltem, where did you see Karem and talk to him? Let's talk about it later. I think we should talk about it now. Salim, enough. Yes, I went there to talk to Fatma Ghul. Otherwise, I could never have relaxed about it. Can't believe you right now. Salim, you sit down. You didn't trust me and went to go talk to her, is that right? So you went to her place? My uncle knows it, and I don't even know. No, it was a coincidence. I saw her. How could you humiliate me like that? Do you see what you've done to me? Huh? Do you know about my situation there? I am sorry, but you need to listen to me. 
Just listen for once. And so the next show will be about Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny having a big fight at the North Pole. Oh, it's your phone. My apologies. Hello? Yes, Mukadiz. We found Fatma Kool. Where is she? We don't know where she is, but we know who she's with. She's with a girl named Anise. Who is it? She's the girlfriend of a boy in our neighborhood. They met once and she went to her house, it seems. The problem is we don't know her address. And what if she tells her everything? She cannot tell everything to a person that she barely knows, but I cannot be sure of that. I wanted to let you know we found her. Karem went to talk to the boy. He'll bring her back if he can find me a dress. Okay, call me back and keep me updated. Well, you know that I'm always working for you. I can't give you any more than that. Okay.